Good morning. Um, earlier this week, our school board met, and after much discussion uh, with the school system staff and also uh, with our health department director, the school board voted unanimously for us to move towards a modified Plan A. That's only for our kindergarten through our fifth grade students. Now what we mean by modified Plan A is that those students who have already been coming into the building, those would be A schedule students and B schedule students, will be given the opportunity to all be in the building Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, beginning on October the 19th. And we're going to keep our Wednesdays as a fully remote day across the entire school district because we still have a lot of things that are going on and our teachers need that opportunity to have some serious comprehensive planning working together with each other. And we also need to have the opportunity to look our building over and make sure that we're maintaining all of the sanitation pieces uh, so that all of our students who are in the, the buildings from pre-K, all the way through 12th grade will be able to be as safe as possible. Now pre-K has been coming to school five days a week and some of you may not understand why they can do that. Uh, the reasoning behind that is it's because we're under two different sets of guidelines and pre-K operates with the opportunity for them to be in the building more and have a different set of expectations than the rest of our students. So please don't confuse our schedule changes. This is beginning to become a little bit complicated. Pre-K is Monday through Friday. Our Schedule A and B day students at the elementary, K-5, are going to be going four days a week with Wednesday being remote. Our middle school and high school are still going to be alternating A days and B days. And then there's Swain Virtual, who is receiving instruction throughout the week at various times. Make sure that you know what your son or daughters are participating in so that you'll be in the right place, doing the right things at the right time. And if you need more help, please don't hesitate to call the school that your son or daughter is uh, enrolled in so that everybody can be on the same page. Now, speaking of schedules, we are coming to the end of the first quarter. It is so hard for me to believe that we are already almost 25% of the way through this school year. The quarter actually ends on October the 16th. We're going to have a work day on a Wednesday, which will be October the 14th. There will be no instruction that day. That way our teachers can get all of their ideas and thoughts together for the end of the nine weeks and begin to uh, prepare report cards. Report cards are going to start going out on October 22nd but most of them will be going out on the week of the 26th. That's because we have three different sets of report cards that we're going to have to send out, including for Swain Virtual, our remote option, Plan C. All of, they're all the same there. We will be mailing all Swain Virtual report cards to your homes. It might be a good idea if you check with the school or get on Parent Portal and see that the, the mailing address is, is accurate so that that report card can come straight to you as a parent or a guardian. Remember, those report cards to Swain Virtual will be mailed. The others will be handed out uh, whenever your son or daughter happens to be in school. Now, there's one more piece that I want to cover with you. We've touched on it just a little bit here in the school system, but I just I want you to understand understand um, that we are very concerned about how all, how all of this pandemic is, is affecting our county and your homes. Uh, there is the opportunity or has been the opportunity for families to receive a pandemic electronic bank transfer card. We've called them PEBT cards. And what has happened is over the summer, the guidelines changed and Swain County was disqualified from receiving 
PEBT cards, and those are primarily for families who are um, qualifying for free and reduced lunch. Um, when I found out about that last week, I'm just going to be straight with you and tell you I was pretty upset, and I still pretty pretty am still pretty upset um, because I think that it was unfair that those regulations were changed in in the middle of the process and without any notification to our school system. Let me tell you what we've done. I've been in contact with the Department of Health and Human Services, uh, with the Food and Nutrition Department um, at the Department of Public Instruction uh, here in Raleigh. I have spoken with uh, Senator Jim Davis, and I've also spoken with Representative Sam Joe Queen. And we have been working very hard together to try and get some kind of an adjustment to that for Swain County. It's not going to happen. There's not going to be an adjustment right now. So my next step is to contact our representation in Washington. I've already sent emails and I've made phone calls and I have some folks who are going to work with me to help me make better contact there. I believe that Swain County deserves the same opportunity that every other system in the state is receiving. And I want you to know that we are fighting hard for you and for your families to make sure that you get those financial opportunities like everyone else. Please don't think that Swain County is the only district that's in this boat, by the way. There are six or seven in western North Carolina that have been affected this way. I just think that it's unfair for you, and we're going to do everything that we can to take care of you. And here's the reason. That's because you're part of our family, and I want to thank you today personally for letting us be part of your family. Uh, I've been impressed this week with uh, how tightly and closely we've been working together, and that's an honor for us to be able to partner with you like that. So thank you for letting us be part of your family. And so until the next time that we have some more information to bring to you, I just want to tell you that I pray for you daily, and I want you to know that I hope that God's blessings fall on you and your family. Have a great day.